Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to do a really quick send study animation in Rhino using just the default renderer, which is Rhino Render. So in this file, you see there are two, um, looks like duplicates of the same area. This one is just line work with aerial images behind. This one is actually um, topo modeled. So I'm gonna be working on this one and I'm gonna do a few just basic um, operations before we start just to get a basic 3D of some of the buildings around. When you're doing this, you'll probably want to make sure that the buildings you're showing correspond to the future scenario, which would have tower blocks and townhouses, etc. But I'm just gonna do it with the existing context. So before we begin, let's just take a quick look at what we've got in the model. Um, there's a bunch of lines and the lines have been projected to this topographic surface that I've created. In the notes, it says uh, topo isn't perfect, especially around the edges. So you can see there's some wobbly bits around here, but hopefully because you're working on Columbia Park, which is this area, you don't need to worry too much about those. I'll turn off the line work and I will go into the 3D and go into the projected lines and just go onto the buildings layer so that I'm 3D modeling on the correct layer. I can turn off my notes as well. Uh, so I'm just gonna go around and it looks like all of the line work is grouped. So I'll ungroup it first to begin. And then I'm gonna select the houses that are around Columbia Park. I just wanna do this really quickly so that I can um, have some kind of a base model to start with. You'll see there's some duplicate lines in this file. Um, I did my best to try to clean it up, but uh, sometimes when you're importing things from AutoCAD, you don't get the most perfect line work. So I'm just selecting the house outlines. I'm leaving the garages because the house outlines we can assume are pretty much gonna be generally the same height. And uh, if you were gonna be really specific, you'd wanna make sure that all of the buildings that are surrounding the site are modeled a little bit more accurately than how I'm gonna do them. But just for the purposes of this demo, I'm just gonna do a basic extrude. So I have the houses selected and I'm going to group them just for simplicity. And I think I'm gonna probably need to copy that line work again later to create some surfaces. And again, making sure I'm on the buildings layer, I'm going to use extrude. So my extrusion distance, I'm gonna estimate that with roofs, most of these houses are gonna be two to three stories. So I'm just gonna do a nine meter extrude. So I'll just go nine and that's gonna give me open poly surfaces. Um, and that's because these lines have been projected down to this surface, which is not planar. So when they're extruded, they're not actually getting extruded completely planar. So I grouped those, um, baselines before, and I'm gonna copy them up to the top of this um, of these buildings. And then I can select that group. And basically I'm just gonna do a patch surface. So um, let's do a patch and I'm gonna select 50 as my spans and stiffness of one, which means it's fairly um, conforming to the line work. And I'll just go okay. And that creates a big patched surface that you can see here. So I'll select the patch surface and I'm gonna use split. And again, select that group of lines to split the surface. And now I can just get rid of the um, excess and I have roofs for all of my buildings. Um, this is probably good enough, but just for best practice, let's uh, sell surface. And that's gonna select all the surfaces in this model, including the topo. So I'm just gonna deselect the topo and that will leave us with these um, house roofs. And then I'm also going to sell open poly surfaces. And now I can join these together and those will create um, poly surfaces. So when I select this, it's selecting both the roof and the walls all together. All right, so we have our houses. Now I just wanna create a little bit more definition in the road. So I'm going to um, select the topo surface and I'm gonna use the curve lines um, around the roads to split that surface. So I'm gonna use split as my command and it says select cutting objects. So I'm going to go down to my right of way and right click on it and go select objects. And I will use those to split this topo surface. That may take a while depending on the 
uh, power of your computer, but now it should split pretty nicely um, if everything has been closed. And I can just um, deselect this road surface and all of the other sort of block surfaces will be selected. Um, and I'm just gonna group those together using G for group. So now I'm gonna take this road surface, uh, which is separate from all the blocks, and I'm gonna move it down by 15 centimeters, which is approximately the size of a curb. So I'm gonna just use the move command and go vertical, and then I'm gonna take it from this corner here and move it down by uh, minus 0.15. So now uh, let's just check my units and make sure I'm in the right, yeah. Okay, so minus 0.15, which is uh, a curb. Um, and now I can go and I'm gonna kind of uh, zoom in on one of the points of this corner. And I'm going to select all of those right of way uh, curves. And you can see all the curves have been added to the selection. And I'm gonna extrude those. And I'm gonna make sure that solid is unchecked. So it's on no and both sides is unchecked. So that's on no. And then I'm just going to go down to the right of way layer. And this might be a little bit hard to see, but I'm gonna extrude it by 0.15. And that's gonna give me a curve, a curb edge um, to this block. So now we have some definition between our road and our curb, and then all of the blocks that are above it. And that's a really easy way to get some definition between the street and the edge of your model. So let's just join those that curve um, surface. Um, maybe what we'll do is sell curves and group them and then just hide them for a moment. And now we can select all the objects on our right of way layer, which is this yellow layer. And we can select our road surface and we can join those up. And now those should be all joined and we can put them on the right of way layer. So let's change object layer. So now we see those are all the same layer color and therefore all the same material.